Hello, hello, hello. All you beautiful people out there in the internet land. This is the one and only singing, dancing DJ, Sandy K. And today, as you can see, I got my hair all gone, ready to donate it. I got it all packed up. I just haven't got the post office yet, but I'm going to send it to Ohio this time. And um, today, my grandson and I made some mixed pickles. Now, I put a video out here about mixed pickles, and my granddaughter helped me, the chef, professional chef, but she wasn't here long enough Sunday to do it, so I, I had all the stuff, and I ran around all over the place trying to find some lids, candy lids. You can't find them nowhere. Everybody sold out. I said, that blame me. I need to go south. There be more candy in the south. Maybe I can find some down that way. But we had enough jars to make a... a, a bunch of mixed pickles today and it was so much fun today my grandson was very kind to me respectful to me and asked more questions so he learned more about canon you know for instance he asked me well now how do you explain the ceiling part and I showed him the little you know the little um uh, the, the little rubber rim around the lids of the cannon jars and how those sunk in a little bit so when he tightened it up it tightened it real tight and that, you know, it would pop up once it sealed. And that's the little rubber was what helped it seal. And I believe that was right. I'm not sure, but I'm sure they got a video on Canon on, on YouTube somewhere. But uh, that's how my family did it. And that's how I learned it. And that's the only thing I knew to tell him. But he was kind enough to help me clean up afterwards. He swept the floor for me after I'd done spilt stuff all over it. <laughs> it's a lot to make a mix because you got to mix... Um, mix all those vegetables together you know but I got smart today I didn't mix them in that big old big old pot that I used to heat the water in to sterilize the jars before I can because you got to do that if you don't sterilize your jars your your mixed pickles won't be good so you have to sterilize your jars and your lids and so I got this big old pot it's a real thin pot and we just use it for that you know put, put hot water in it to sterilize the, the jars and so uh, he helped me because see I'm not strong enough to pull the jars up out of the hot water because you have to do it with a, a with a thong you can't just put your hands down there in hot water you know so he was strong enough to take the thongs you know and just pull it up and so he helped me do that and he helped me he helped me um, sanitize the jar lids and sanitize the jars and of course I'm going to have to do laundry and clean up all the towels that I use in, in, in the canning and process. But Angel has this, uh, oh, well, my, my, my daughter has this uh, real wide, real wide um, uh, aluminum pan, you know, that you buy, you know, to roast stuff in. But it's real long, and she buys it in quantity from Costco, I guess. So she had a bunch of those. And I took one of those. And I took that cabbage and put it lined out, you know. And then I took him green beans and lined them out there. And then I took that corn and lined it out there. And then I took the... Because you make mixed pickles, you know, according to how your taste is, you know. Some people, you might want to put something different in it than, than I do. But they call mine Nana's Mixed Pickles because I let, added this that somebody else liked that I liked. And that that somebody else did that I liked. And then I added something of my own that I liked. Instead of using... Um, I used some. I used to put some pinto beans in mine because the green beans didn't have enough protein. You know, bean. I need protein because I can't eat a lot of meat. So, with the mixed pickles, I get the protein and the vegetables and everything. And then I uh, added a hot pepper because my family seemed to like the spicy. So we do that. And I took red beans instead of pinto beans, and it had, seems to have more protein in the red red beans. Pardon me, allergies. Take a drink. So anyways, we did that. And we got them all canned up now. They won't stay here long. Because <laughs> if they don't come get them, I eat them. So I tell them, I made them. They're ready. Come get them. They don't, I eat them. So I ate most of the ones I made last time, except I had enough left to make dinner Sunday night with the mixed pickles. And I had... They had one jar that they let my other granddaughter take home with me. 
And so I had enough jars today to make, uh, I guess, about, oh, six maybe, quart jars and then some small jars. Uh, but then I could have made more because I had some more, uh, not quart jars, but pint jars. But I didn't have lids for it. You can't seal it without the lid, so they disappeared somewhere. And so then I had some jars that I had bought some pickles in, you know, like the uh, pickles that you buy in the store, but it's in glass jars. You have to get the glass jars. You can't get the plastic jars. You just can't pickle stuff in plastic jars. So you get the, uh, and I had some of those that I'd kept for canning. So we put some in those. So it was fun. It was really fun. Well, I'm beat now, though. I tell you what, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work in that. You had to do the chopping, and you had to do the, you know, putting it in the jars and the sanitizing. And uh, those poor people back in the mountains, they used to can everything in the jars. Green beans, we can green beans. We can corn every year. We can, can stuff. And some people even can potatoes in it, cook potatoes and can it. So in, in the wintertime, you know, when you, when you just... Don't you maybe ain't feeling good and you want some potatoes, but you you know so they they jar those. I don't ever jar potatoes, but some people do. And canning's a big thing right now because with this pandemic going on, people don't really want to go out that much. I only go out when I have to to the store, and I, I when I go out, I try to make sure I get what I need, so I don't have to go out too often. And then when I do come back, I and I wear a mask when I go out now, and and that's I would I would recommend that everybody to do that. Uh, <clears throat> highly recommend everybody to do that. It don't cure it. People go, does it cure? No, it don't. It slows the virus down from transferring faster than we can control until we come up with an antidote or whatever. So. And you have to come up with the antidote safely. You can't just go and say, okay, this mixture of this, this mixture of that, and it ain't nothing but a bunch of drugs, think it's going to work, it ain't going to. So, anyways, it's healthy. So people are starting to can now. Where I went, I was out of canning supplies. I'm going, Lord, I guess maybe I, I would love to own a bigger piece of property so I could grow everything, you know, can my green beans. They're better than, than store-bought canned green beans, but I like Del Monte better with the green beans that I cook in my mixed pickles because Del Monte, for some reason, don't cook them all the way, you know, that, but the ones I bought today, they're just too, too cooked. You know, you don't cook them that much for mixed pickles, and so Del Monte is the best ones. I should have got those, but I'll get those next time. Yay for Del Monte. <laughs> Anyways, um... Sitting here waiting, though, looking forward to the vice presidential debate. The presidential debate was kind of like a... <clears throat> <laughs> it was a pitiful play of a first grader bully trying to grab all the attention. And it was disgusting, really, the way whoever was in charge of that, just let it run, let, let it run away like that. I would have, if it would have been me, and I would have been a, I was a DJ on the radio before, <clears throat> years ago. But if I had been moderating something like that, and that started in, I'd say, look here, we ain't going to play this. This is your rules, because that was his rules. The, you know, the one that got bullied. The bully, not the bullied. Biden was not the bully. He was bullied. And I don't like bullies. But I would have said, we don't play first grader games, so we're just going to end this and Biden, you're free to go home. And that's what I would have done. That's what I would have simply done. And if people have been doing it all along and not give him that TV coverage they've been giving him all this time, he wouldn't be as crazy as he is right now. Of course, he might be because he's probably on all them drugs to begin with. Shouldn't have been in office to begin with. I don't think. This is my opinion. You know, you vote for whoever you want to. You vote for whoever you want to, Republican or Democrat. You shouldn't be prevented from voting. I was, and I didn't like it. And it shouldn't happen to anybody. So, don't matter. You know, just go vote your heart. But stop and think before you go vote your heart. And look around, you know. 
don't watch just one news channel like Fox. I don't watch Fox at all, but I'm not saying you can't. But just compare other channels and see what's going on and, and then compare it and look look at the person's demeanor, okay? You can tell a lot about people where they're lying if you just watch their demeanor, which is their countenance, their 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 facial expressions, their... Um, like if they're getting angry, you look at their face and they're just it gets all red and stuff. You know what I mean? You their demeanor. You watch you watch people. You know when they lying. You can look them in the eye and just tell them flat out, "Hey, you lying to me." You know I've done it. <laughs> so I I just I'm just sitting here waiting for the debate. So I want to just put that out there. Uh, this is one and only. Sing and dance to DJ. Signing out. Oh, before I go, I hope to God whoever I send that hair to in Ohio, God bless you all. And it's for wigs for kids, and my hair has some gray in it, so they may even use it for somebody else too. But God bless y'all. Prayers going out to you always, always. I lost family members with cancer, and my daughter was the first one that survived cancer in my family. Um, it was a, 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 a curable kind, and uh, she lost her hair, was losing her hair, and uh, we took some methods, you know, and she didn't lose all her hair, but it just broke her heart when she was losing her hair. My sister, she died of cancer, and she just hated it when she lost her hair. She did. I offered her mine, and she said, no, you know, I don't, I don't want yours, but um, I've been doing it. I've been sent to Florida, and then I found out that they've been selling it. I'm not sent to Florida anymore. I'm going to send it to Ohio where they make wigs for kids, and they have a guarantee that they're not going to sell the hair. They're going to give it to the people, make them a wig. So I don't have money to give. I don't. If I did, I would. Gladly. But I don't. So, well, I, I my hair didn't cost me nothing, did it? So, you know, um... My sister said my mom's rolling over in grave. I don't believe that. They didn't know my mom as well as I did. And I think that she would have thought what I was doing. She might have said, just don't shave it. But I wanted to treat my scalp because I'm losing my hair and I've got some kind of dandruff that's, you know, making it not grow back. And I want to treat it for the dandruff and get rid of that before it grows back and it grows back healthier. I'm hoping. But if it don't, it don't. <laughs> I just have to be ugly old me with no hair. <laughs> Ugly enough as it is with these wrinkles, you know. But it is what it is. You know, what can you do? Do what you can. That's what you do. You do what you can. Show some kindness some compassion. And I've been really mean and mad lately. I don't like me like this. I don't. But don't go be pushing people around. And when you mess with somebody that I think highly of and you're, you know, I will, I will speak up. I will always speak up for what's right. And, and it's got me in a lot of trouble in my life. It's got me beat up, and I got I, now I, I, I it's well. Let's just say it's it, when you tell the truth and you do stand up for what's right. If there's a lot of cowards around and they don't stand up for what's right too, you kind of take some beatings. And I've took a few. You know, in my younger days, I was I was a, a, learned to be a fighter because I was bullied because I was small and poor. <laughs> if you're poor in this country and you're tiny, you've, you've got trouble. And um, if you're a woman and you're tiny and you're poor, it's even more trouble. And um, there were people picking on a little boy who had had a, a speech impediment, not his fault. He was born, you know, and um, had surgery. And that really made me mad. And I, you know, well, stand up for people. And, and do not make fun of autistic people and people with disadvantage, people, you know, over, 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 overweight or anything like that. You know, they, they're dealing with stuff themselves. And... Um, Everybody out there that's disabled, disadvantaged, autistic, mongrel, or whatever, whatever your disadvantage is in life, from my heart to yours, I'm praying for you. If you don't believe in prayer, I'll just send the good thoughts to you. Just good thoughts, you know. Um, Y'all be safe out there. Wear a mask. And ta-ta, singing, dancing, DJ, Sandy K, signing off.